Hello everybody, Grips here and welcome once again. So this will be uh, lesson number two for Particle Illusion. And I'm going to continue with still with some of the basic uh, intro or basic features of uh, Particle Illusion. So today I'm going to cover the um, tool menu here and what it is and what it does. All right, so the first one is very obvious. This is your project settings. This is where you can adjust the frame rate and the size of your picture and so forth. Uh, just press OK for now, we won't be needing that. This is your move or your select tool. This allows you to select and move your images around in your project. This first object here is a deflector, blocker, and force. And I'll, I'll go into detail today what these three do. Uh, this allows to show your particles or not show your particles. So if you want to work with something really basic, you can have the option of, uh, let's say, let's play that just slightly and uh, you need to be in more detail with the actual emitter you can then toggle that off and all the emitters disappear and then toggle back on okay that's not what we're doing today right all right so first thing we need to do is we need to grab a picture so left or right click on the layer menu it doesn't really matter background image select your image it tells me that my image is bigger than my work page, uh, stage not a problem just click yes uh, just click yes OK again. All right, there's two ways you can work with this picture immediately. You can right click and zoom to fit, or just click your mouse wheel once, release, and then you can scroll it in or out. But as you can see, zoom to fit makes it perfect. All right, first thing we're going to do is grab an emitter, uh, special effect if you want to, if you want to call it that. And I'm going to place it on top of the earth, and I'm going to press play. This little green button here lets you, allows you to see your effect. So it looks like I'm attacking Earth. Aren't I a nice guy? All right. Now I'm going to go right back to frame one. I'm going to grab my select tool. I'm going to select my emitter and I'm going to drag it down to the bottom. And uh, what I wish to do now, uh, I wish it for it to come out of the boy's hand. So I, I don't need this on the Earth. And how do I do that? Well, I'm going to mask it out. So I'm going to use a blocker. So first thing I need to do is right click, select new layer. Okay, if you want to name it something fancy, up to you. All right, so grab your add blocker filter. Yes, I guess that's the correct word. Uncheck select. And what you're going to do is just mask it out. Mask the area out that you don't want the emitter to be shown. All right, once you've done that, oh, click one more, left, uh, right click to release. Sorry about that. Grab your select tool and then right click it onto the actual center of the uh, mask and select properties now you only want it to uh, you only want it uh, to be transparent so you want to still want to see the background image so you must check this and press ok and as you can see now it's disappeared all right so let's press play so there you go so now it looks like it's just coming out the little boy's hand because i've masked the area that i don't wish to see so that's what I'll just stop pause that and that's what the add blocker does at all it's a masking tool I just go to file new no I don't want to save my project let's go pick this other emitter so it looks like uh, bubbles soap bubbles by the looks of it all right, I'm just gonna zoom into my project I'm gonna place the emitter here and uh, as you can see it will do exactly the same as what it did in the preview window all right so what does this one here do this is your uh, add force add force is basically telling the bubbles what to do going left or right up or down it depends now you can use your hierarchy window as well for that but this is a really quick and simple way to do it okay so you don't need to create a new layer you could just immediately start working with it so let's go right back to frame one click on your add force and just click once and it'll give you a pink window grab your move tool depending on which way you wish it for the move I'm gonna I want basically the bubbles to go this way from left to right so I'm just gonna drag a new shape All right, so if I press play now you can now see that the bubbles are getting blown back this way All right. Let's make it a little bit obvious if I move it you can see I'm forcing the bubbles to go to a different direction and that's what that uh, filter does uh, so that's your add force it just redirects the bubbles like the winds blowing 
All right, let's go back to file. New. I'm going to use uh, the same liquid uh, filter again, uh, emitter. Place it in the middle. So last but not least, what the what does deflector do? Very simple. You don't need to create a new layer. Just click on it once, and then just create a, a, an area. Uh, what well, doesn't really matter. So now what you're going to do is it's like a bouncing ball. You're going to bounce the bubbles from the bottom, and then they're going to bounce back up. So let's play. So as you can see now the bubbles are being bounced from the ground. And you can add this uh, deflector anywhere you want. You can add more than one as well, it doesn't really matter. Cool. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use your blocker, your sorry, your blocker, your deflector, and your force. And as always, thanks for watching.